Now for the last part we've got to find the range of f of x. So the range of f of x is going to be the y values that we get when x goes between minus 2 and 2. It's these y values up here and it really is from 0 to 6. We discovered that it was 6 up here when we found out that when t was pi upon 2, do you remember, x was 2 times the cosine of what would be pi and 2 cos of pi, 2 times minus 1 gave us the minus 2 and when we put pi upon 2 into here we got the corresponding y value which was 6 sine pi upon 2 which was 6 times 1, 6. So that gave us this value up here. So you can see that the range of f of x is going to be such that, let's just put it down here, that f of x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 6. All right?